All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, Jam Football, doing a draft breakdown on UCLA Edge, Light 2, Law 2. Guy's a baller, right? 13 sacks, 20 tackles for a loss this past year, led college football and pass rush win rate. He knows how to rush the passer, right? His hand usage is elite. His motor never stops. He's someone who's going to be near or at the quarterback in the NFL. Um, there's obviously things that need to grow from his game or some things that maybe won't be able to grow due to you know size or athletic uh, limitations. But he's going to be around the pass rusher. He's going to create negative plays in the run game. So let's get into all of it. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. Light to law to. So you're going to see him lined up over the left tackle versus Oregon State. And you're going to see him work his favorite move. The cross chop, right? I mean, his film is filled with ends up with a sack. Does a good job timing up the snap. Footwork is good. One, two, three. And then goes into this cross chop, right? Attack the tackle's hands. Attack the tackle's hands. Get around the corner. Bam. Sack. Let's see it. Let's see it again versus USC. This time over to uh over the right tackle. Times up the snap really well. Right? This one's not necessarily the cross chop, but he's good at keeping hands off him. I wanted to put this in here because it was a sack. Times up the snap. Good footwork. One, two. Get hands on. Doesn't have the best bend in the world. But rip through. Get lateral. Run through a run blocker or a, a running back. Gets himself a sack. And now back to this cross chop. Here versus the right tackle. Right? Kill, killing the, pa the the tackle's hands. Uses that right hand. Chops with the chops the tackle's right hand. Attacks the back with the left hand. Now get now bend and get lateral. Bend and get lateral. Force the quarterback to check it down. Good stuff. Here versus the left tackle. At Washington State. Yeah, take advantage of the tackle's hands. He's going to use that punch. Get those hands off you. Keep those hands off of you. Pull his weight forward, right? So not only are you keeping those hands off of you, but when you're chopping that hand, well, that's going to pull his weight forward and not allow him to move around the corner the way he wants to. Bend, dip. Finish that sack, though. Got to finish that sack. That's also something with him is with much production as he do has, there is some times where he needs to finish. Here versus the left tackle again. This time, going to set it up, right? Going to throw that little hezzy, right? Set him up, throw that hezzy, get his hands up, and then you see how the hands... Chop him off, get this tackle's uh, weight, you know, uneven, get around the corner. But, I mean, he's getting pressure on a screenplay. Here versus the left tackle again. Finish this play. Want to finish this play. We're showing like we're going to attack laterally, which we, you know, which... He does very well, which we'll go through, right? So giving you a better rush angle. Get him protecting the inside. Time up that punch. I mean, it times it up perfectly, right? Times it up perfectly. Gets that hand. You see how the tackle's weight is going forward. And then, bam, gets skinny, right? Just finish this play. Good, you know, good job by Cam Ward, the quarterback, getting out of it. Next play versus the right tackle. All right, this time. Not necessarily going to go through that cross chop. Swat those hands off of you. He's got that rip through. Get low. Pressure. Uh, now here versus U USC. We're going to go through his film going outside in. Lined up over here versus the right tackle. Right, he works very well laterally. Gets a lot of wins this way. Because he works that cross shop, guys want to get out there. He wants to work that corner. And we're essentially using the cross chop in that, right? See how much ground we're gaining. Get those hands off you. Guard's not able to slide over in time. The tackle's working out to here. 
and Caleb Williams makes a nice play. Here lined up versus the right tackle and the tight end. Again, this tackle wants to overset, right? This tackle wants to get out here, right? He jumps in. He wants to get out here. He wants to get aggressive. Take advantage of that. Take advantage of that. Now, here's the thing. You do give up all of this right here, which is an issue. All right, you're gonna, he's going to have to get the green light from a coach to get this type of ability to freestyle on this. You know, so you know, maybe you're only you're working this on third and long or passing downs. But he does a great job pressing, using that right hand to attack that left shoulder, stop the tackle from moving, powering down. Good footwork. Get with the quarterback. Caleb Williams does some Caleb Williams shit. Like, not every quarterback. There's a reason why he's probably going 1-1. Um, now, a lot of it is lined up on the interior. You're going to see, I'll let the, these plays run, lined up right here. Is a lot of the, you know, pass rush win rate stuff, it comes on the interior. And for someone of his size, I just don't see him getting those opportunities. But he does a great job, right? Taking advantage of smaller or, or less athletic offensive linemen. But those guys are going to be a little more athletic in the NFL. And again, like we'll see with the run game issues that he's just not going to get all of those opportunities. So while that's nice, that's only going to be used often, right? So pass rush win rate is sick, but you know, we're not getting we're not going to get those opportunities. And I want to show, you know, an example of it essentially not working, right? Here versus uh Talis Fuaga, who I'm going to do a breakdown of him individually and their matchup. All right? We want to work outside in. But you get a tackle who's more comfortable, who's stronger in his punch, and footwork is better. Well, you get shut down, right? So not only do you get the pressure, but you also leave all this out here. So if you're going to work outside in, it has to work. Here versus Washington State. Same thing. So we see him work that cross chop. That's what's going to set it all up because you have to win around the corner to win consistently. I don't know why I have this bar here. Maybe put a little like and subscribe there. I don't know. And then in the run game, right? And we won't spend a ton of time on this in the run game. This is my worry is like, where does he end up going? Because here it is versus Fuaga. Again, a first round tackle guy could go in the top 10, line up here. But you can't get moved off the spot like that, right? You can't be a fifth year senior and get all, moved off the spot like this and expect to go top 10. Because I mean, he's just, Lacking of the arm length, the strength, and he gets flat out moved off his spot. Right? And gay, you're gonna look at his he's gonna be a disruptor in the run. We'll go through that. Here again versus the double. Right? Mostly Fuaga doing that. We're getting moved off the spot. So he's gonna have to be a like a disruptor in um in, in the run game. Right, doing stuff like this. Right here, lined up over to left tackle. Lined up on the tight end. Where he's able to, hey, I don't I don't have the strength disadvantage. Stack this tight end, shed, make a play. Right. And maybe that's how you work around him. Because he's gonna get pass rush production and he's gonna be a disruptor in the run game, but you don't wanna, you know, get yourself screwed versus those wide zone teams. Um, because you know, they're going to reset that edge and it's going to leave huge lanes and teams will look to run at you. You know, maybe you line them up on the strong side versus the tight end more often, but he is going to have to just line up and set an edge at times, right? And you can see here, he's, a he's able to disrupt. Lined up inside of the tackle, get it in his chest, stay square, power, makes a run stop. Here, Lined up on the guard, right? It'll take those hands off you, make a play. So he's going to have to be, you know, a gap shooter. You're going to let, you know, run run blitzes where you run him inside and have the linebacker over the top. But I do worry about some of the strength issues out on the edge. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on uh, Law 2. A fun player, a guy who's going to get production in the NFL. Um, but it's just a question of where do you want to take him with some of the limitations that he had. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other draft breakdowns. More to come. So again, maybe put that little bell on or whatever you want to freaking do. Appreciate you guys as always, and we will see you on the next one.